Smith, an owner of the Portland Thorns, have been facing a lot of controversy lately, but today there is some positive news to report. The club announced that they'll be donating thousands of dollars to three local organizations benefiting young girls. Fox News' Polina Aguilar has more on where the money will go. The Thorns are gearing up for the semifinals against San Diego this weekend, but what makes this more exciting is that they'll be donating a portion of the ticket proceeds to three local charities, donating a minimum of $100,000. Girls Inc. was the very first like place that showed me that like I could do so many things. This is a video made by Girls Inc. of Pacific Northwest. Just one of the charities Thorns players selected to receive a donation. Girls Inc. creates an environment that helps girls 6 to 18 years old navigate social barriers and grow up educated and independent. I learned to be myself and to take on anything and not be scared of it because before I wouldn't take big risks, but now I do. The Thorns will donate a portion of Sunday's ticket sales to three charities, Girls on the Run, Girls Inc., and She Flies. Thorns manager Karina LeBlanc says they want to create safer environments for girls and women and champion the youth in the community. She Flies works with the Sport Oregon Foundation and works to keep girls playing sports. We know that um, girls by the age of 14 are two times more likely to drop out of sports than boys, and that was kind of our fire to create this initiative. We really tried to be all-inclusive of all ages, all genders, all sports, all income levels. Uh she Flies puts on workshops and panels in hopes to keep young people motivated and striving for more. We try to give tools to girls that will be used for their life, their career, their sports professional journeys. And Girls on the Run is a program that helps girls build their self-confidence and find their voice and say they appreciate the example of the thorn set for all girls. It's been a turbulent year for the club recently, but these organizations continue to encourage each other. We are just so honored and thankful. We just really see it as a two-way street where we support each other. And at this time, it's just kind of what the city and everyone needs is to kind of stick together. Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12, Oregon.